One of the strengths of Mudura technology is design flexibility. With only a few simple forms, you can create almost any building configuration. In this module, we will look at some special techniques for using Nadura forms. T walls can be installed anywhere along the Nadura wall using Nadura's special T form unit. Reinforce the T with a 30 inch L shaped length of rebar as shown here. You will need additional reinforcement if the concrete wall thickness will be greater than 6 inches. Consult your installation manual for details. Brick ledges have several uses including supporting masonry loads and supporting floor joists. If the brick ledge is horizontal and of course heights work out so that the corbel is where you want it, you simply install a course of standard brick ledge. If this is not the case, you will need to use Nadura's brick ledge extension. We use this diagonal brick ledge as an example. The installer starts by snapping three chalk lines representing the top of the brick ledge, the bottom of the brick ledge, and the bottom of the inner concrete channel. Next, he removes the standard wall forms and cuts channels between the webs to allow concrete to flow into the brick ledge. Notice that he cuts the bottom of the channel diagonally to match the slope of the channel inside the brick ledge extension. When the channels have been cut, he runs a length of straight rebar through the appropriate notches in the webs of the main wall. Now he screws a length of plastic starter strip to the main wall to support the brick ledge extension. Okay. Next, he cuts and trims the necessary lengths of brick ledge extension and screws them to the main wall with 6 inch screws fitted with plastic collars. Notice the screws are tightened so that the collars are just below the surface of the EPS. The screws and collars can be removed and reused after the concrete is cured. The installer removes the trimmed lengths of brick ledge extension to expose the straight rebar in the wall and installs the necessary stirrups. When the stirrups are in place, the installer reattaches the brick ledge extension and threads a length of straight rebar through the open ends of the stirrups. Since the brick ledge is diagonal, he wires the stirrups and rebar together to prevent them from shifting during concrete placement. Brick ledge extensions also come in handy when doing a brick ledge corner. True, you can make a brick ledge corner by simply mitering it from a length of standard brick ledge. The problem with this method is that you destroy the continuity of the interlock. A better way is to fabricate the corner using methods similar to those you saw a moment ago. Cut concrete channels in a standard corner block and miter cut the corner from brick ledge extensions. Support the brick ledge extensions with plastic starter strip and fasten the brick ledge extension with 6 inch screws. Reinforce the corner with fiber tape. Install stirrups and rebar as shown earlier. Be sure not to forget the diagonal stirrup at the corner. When you are finished, the next course will fit perfectly. From time to time, you may be called upon to construct a radius wall. Nudura forms can be custom ordered to almost any radius you might want. Reinforce the vertical stack joint between the radius wall and the main wall with plywood, strapping, or fiber tape. If any part of the roof section is to be heated or cooled, the designer may ask you to extend the Nudura walls to include gable end areas. There are almost as many ways to construct a gable end as there are builders. Here is one method. Start by building a rectangle out of standard forms as large as or slightly larger than one half the size of the gable. Mark the slope of the gable and cut the forms using a reciprocating saw equipped with a metal cutting blade. Cut any necessary internal webs and separate the two halves of the gable. For ease of demonstration, this particular gable was designed to be one half the size of three stacked forms. Since few gables will be this simple, you probably will have to make a second diagonal cut on the opposing half of the gable. Install the two completed halves of the gable and place any necessary rebar. Reinforce the vertical stack joint and the gable is complete. 
In the next module, we'll talk about Nudura's alignment system.